Hello everyone, welcome to the Python Dude. First of all, a very happy new year to all of you. Today, I'll show you how to install Python, set up Visual Studio Code, and run your first Python program. I'll also cover the extensions you need in Visual Studio Code for Python programming. Stay tuned, and I promise you'll learn something new in a very simple way. And if you enjoy coding and want to see more programming tutorials, especially for Python, don't forget to like and share this video with your programming friends and subscribe to the Python Dude so we can learn and grow together together. First of all, the very first thing you'll need is to download Python. So, open your browser and search for Download Python. When you do, you'll see the official Python website, python.org. Go ahead and click on that link. On the home page, you'll find the option to download the latest version for Windows. Just click on the download button and the Python installer will start downloading. Once the download is complete, run the installer. Here, make sure to check the box that says Add Python to Path. This is important for Python to work properly on your system. After that, just click on Install Now. No need to worry about custom installation. The default option works fine. When you click Install Now, it may ask for administrator privileges. Just click Yes. And there you go. Python will start installing. Now, all we have to do is wait for it to finish. Once it's done, Python will be ready to use on your system. Now that Python is installed, let's check if it's working correctly. Click on the search bar, type cmd and open the command prompt. Once it's open, type python double dash version and press enter. If everything is installed correctly, you'll see something like this. Python 3.131 or the latest version. If you see this instead of an error, congratulations. Your Python installation is successful. Great job. You've completed the first step with ease. Next, let's download and install Visual Studio Code. Again, open your browser and search for Download Visual Studio Code. Here, you will see their official website, visualstudio.com. Just click on that first website just like I do. Once you open it, you'll see a button to download Visual Studio Code. Since we're installing it on Windows, click on the Download for Windows button, and the installer will start downloading. Once the download is complete, run the installer. Accept the license agreement and keep clicking Next. Make sure to check all the recommended boxes. They're important. After that, click Install. When the installation is done, uncheck the Launch Visual Studio Code option and click Finish. That's it. Visual Studio Code is now installed on your system. Before we open Visual Studio Code, let's set up a working folder. Create a new folder on your desktop and name it something like Python Programming. Once the folder is created, open it. Then right-click on any blank space inside the folder. Select Show More Options, and then click on Open with Code. This will open Visual Studio Code directly in that folder. This way, any Python program you create will be saved in this folder. While you can also open folders or files using the File menu in Visual Studio Code, this method is quicker and more convenient for setting up your working directory. Now let's set up Visual Studio Code for Python. First, click on the Extensions button on the left. In the search bar, type Python and hit Enter. You'll see a lot of options, but don't worry. Just click on the one by Microsoft and hit Install. Next, let's install another extension. In the search bar, type Code Runner and press Enter. Find the extension by Jun Han. This one is important because it gives us a handy button to quickly run our Python code with ease. Click Install and you'll be all set. After everything is set up, you're ready to run Python programs on your system. Let's create our first Python program to check if everything's working. In VS Code, click on the Explorer icon. You'll see two options, create a new file and create a new folder. Since we opened VS Code in our folder, we don't need to create a folder. Just click on create a new file and name it firstprogram.pi. Remember, the .py extension is necessary as it indicates a Python file. Now let's write a simple program that prints, hello world. Just type and click on the run button. You'll see, hello world, printed in your terminal. That's it, you've successfully created your first Python program. Let me know in the comments if this is your first Python program.
If you're just starting with Python, I recommend checking out the Python ebook guide I designed specifically for beginners. It covers everything you need to master Python. Plus, you'll get 99 Python projects with source code in this combo, which will help you practice what you learn. Don't just take my word for it. See what our users are saying about this combo. That's it for today, guys. I'll see you in the next awesome video. Until then, make sure you subscribe to the Python Dude for more easy-to-understand Python tutorials.